when he first walked in the doors of the club, he, you just knew he was a great person. Um, he brought so much passion and energy and um, you know, so much joy to, to the club. And he was just a you know, great person to have around the club. And you know, every time he, he walked in, everyone was, was happy and you know, he was always up and about. You know, as soon as we, we picked him up, he, the impact he made around the club, not only on the training track, um, and on game day, but just around the boys was um, was extremely positive. He was uh, always rocked up, big smile on his face, which is something good. Uh, and uh, the, the boy, instantly, the boys just loved him. Yeah, he was just a real good fella. He was, he was so nice, um, caring. Um, he was a funny guy, and he was just always upbeat. So he was always good fun to be around. You know, from the moment he came to this footy club, he uh, he was part of the group straight away. The, the amount of respect he got so quick is is uh, is, is probably as, as fast as I've seen anyone get respect at a footy club. It was a strange feeling. He was able to come into a football club and, and feel like he'd been a part of it for, for 10, 10 years. He he walked in there for two or three days. He had this sense of belonging. From the get-go, yeah, he was fitting like, like a charm. Um, everyone loved him for who he was. and um, He's just a guy that you always wanted to really be around. Biggest impact Johnny had, I suppose, was um, just his personality, I think. Um, just really easy going. Um, always got the boys up um, with his jokes and sort of always good to have a laugh and stuff like that. He, he came into the club and impact on the training track straight away. He dominated all pre-season, played 21 games and he just managed to find the ball and use it really well and um, yeah, he's a great player. The first thing that comes to mind is his uh, J-Max skills. Um, he's, a, he's a beautiful kick, um, could hit, hit targets left, right and centre. Oh, he was a great teammate. You, you knew he'd, uh, you know, you, you knew he'd give 100 percent every time he went on the ground. J Mac always had a crack, and uh, he, you know, he had lightning speed, very skillful, and um, I think last year he really brought that to our team. He gave this buzz um, to us as players that it just injected life. If we we're down by a couple of goals, and he'd get in there and spruce things up. Love to go, and, and yeah, get it. He'd always love uh, when the other boys would kick a goal too. He'd be the first one there. He'd, Pat's on the back, he'd celebrate it with you. We were playing against Essendon, it was pretty early in the season at Etihad Stadium and uh, the ball got crumbed by one of our players and uh, Johnny ran past again for the handball um, getting, and kicked a pretty pretty special goal from the pocket. You know, you just knew if you get it in his, his vicinity he was able to do something with it, which was which was probably one of his qualities, he was able to kick a couple of goals. Kangaroos game last year, I forget what round it was, but um, it was a very good win, uh, brilliant team effort and. I remember straight after the siren went, I remember J Mac running up to me and grabbing me and saying, You're a legend. And just, I'll never forget um, his face. He'd always come in here with a smile on his face and and, uh, and have a laugh. And, and yeah, it just, um, yeah, I guess it did. It, 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 um, I think it helped, to, helped with the mood of the boys because some guys take it pretty seriously and, and then they'd be able to, he'd, you know, throw in a cheap joke there. and and uh, still got a smile out of some of the, even the serious guys. The rest of the boys might have been feeling a bit down, uh, might have just had a loss or whatever, and you know, Johnny would be as disappointed as anyone else, don't get me wrong, but um, just his, th that was his nature. He was just a, a very positive man. Probably the best memory of John was probably four or five of us got together and started to grow this, the beard, and um, to be honest, every one of us thought we had the best the best thing going and you'd look over to, to him and you'd just see his was pretty much see-through and um, but he'd just embrace it for what it was um, and that's that's the kind of guy he was. Um, you know, he was just such a great person and uh, someone we loved uh, so much and uh, it was just a, you know, a huge part of our group. What we miss about Johnny would be the the laughs he sort of got in the, the locker room, his sense of humour. Um, he was always sort of pretty positive sort of guy and um, yeah, just a really good mate to have there, I suppose, week to week. The best thing is that we all love J-Mac and we all felt the same way about him and, and uh, you know, how caring he was. And um, so we're all on the, on the same page in, in uh, you know, how we feel. The way that uh, he um, portrayed himself around the place and the way that he, he acted has, has definitely rubbed off on a lot of us. It, it, it really did bring the club together and, um, you know, and just the love everyone had from him and the supporters and, um, and yeah, 
it's, it's amazing how much of an impact one, one person can make after such a short time. The supporters love Shay Mac. Um, he he did it. He did everything inside the club and off field. He he'd always be good at the community visits and talking to children. And I think that's just the way he was, and that's why supporters loved him, and they always will. Yeah, I think a lot of us would think about him, you know, every day. Um, be in our hearts forever, but. Um, the boys, I'm sure, think about him every day. You know, we've got the got his number retired, so we see his number 35 there up in the locker room, and you know, we think about him all the time. And um, you know, we'll be playing for him for the rest of our careers. You know, when you're feeling a little bit flat and a bit down, um, Johnny. <sighs> um, you know, you still see his locker and his fighters him around the place and. You just gotta, just gotta remember that um, you know things could be a lot worse, and uh, um, so that's where I draw my inspiration from. From Johnny, absolutely. The boys will never forget him and what he actually brought in the time that he was here, and the impact he had on the group. What he actually brought to the group was a lot larger than can probably be measured. Yeah, the tribute game for him, really looking forward to it and all the boys um, can't wait. But it's not just that game, it'll be every game we carry him on our back and in our minds. Hopefully not just win that game, but um, we want to take John's spirit into the into the whole year, until the rest, well, I want to take his for the rest of my career for sure. He's a super, super bloke and, um, you know, the world's a, it's a far, far less place without him here. We'd, we'd love him to be still here. and. Um, still playing with us and still in the jumper. I think he'll still be he'll still be a big part of, of us going forward. Um, you know, we'll, we'll continue to to talk about um, you know what he what he did for this club and um, you know he's he's left a, a great mark on on this group and and on the culture of this group and um, you know any success that we do achieve down the track will be because of J Mac and what he brought and how he went about footy and, and what he left. Uh, the legacy left on um, you know this club and, and the players, the players involved, and, and who were lucky enough to play with him.